In Detroit, the Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays got together with the Blue Jays barely alive in the AL East, trying to pick up a half game on the idle Boston Red Sox. Tigers get all they need, though, in the first. Johnny Grubb goes the other way with Jim Clancy's pitch. It will be a fair ball in the left field corner at Tiger Stadium. Alan Trammell comes around to score one nothing Tigers. One batter later, Darnell Coles, an end of the bat single. He got jammed real good, but muscles it in for a hit. Grubb scores, it's 2 nothing uh, Tigers. Toronto comes right back, though. Wham. Ernie Witt, sit and admire this one. An upper deck shot of Jack Morris. Morris going for his 19th win. Wanted that one back, didn't get it. 2-1 to one Detroit. Morris got some help, though. Willie Upshaw rips one to left center. Look at the effort by Chet Lemon. Could you do this on AstroTurf? I don't know if a lot of players would uh, make that kind of try on AstroTurf, but a great catch by Lemon. Meanwhile, Morris blows away Willie Upshaw to end the game. A six-hitter, his 19th win of the season. Clancy loses it. He's now 14-12, and 12, and the Blue Jays lose the chance to pick up a half game. Not that it would make any difference. In Baltimore, the Orioles in the Yanks game was important not for the final outcome because neither team is uh, going to catch Boston. Neither the Yankees aren't, certainly. But Don Mattingly's chase for another American League batting championship and here's what happened in this game at Memorial Stadium. Top of the second, Phil Lombardi. Who? He takes Scott McGregor deep to left for a two-run homer. Dave Winfield scores ahead of him. 31st round tripper given up by McGregor this year. Mr. Gopher in Baltimore. Top of the sixth now, two to one. Dave Winfield singles to center, driving in Willie Randolph for his 94th RBI of the year. Three to one, Yanks. Now, on the top of the eighth, Willie Randolph. I mean, he doesn't hit that ball hard, does he? I mean, he goes the opposite way. Could be a double. It uh, keeps on going. It's gone. Randolph, his fourth homer of the year, 4-1 to Yanks. And in the fourth, well, here's Mr. Mattingly trying for the batting title against McGregor. Almost gets a homer here. Don will settle for an off-the-wall double, if you will. His 21-game hitting streak is now intact. He's hitting 351, five points ahead of Wade Boggs of the Red Sox. Dave Rigetti pitched the last two innings despite giving up a run. Rigetti managed his major league leading 41st save getting the final out here and the Yankees win it by a score of four to two to stay mathematically alive in the American League East race and a look at the batting race in the American League East has Manningly at 351 and Wade Boggs at 346. Why is Boggs frowning? I guess he doesn't like trailing. In Oakland the A's and the White Sox opening a series at the Alameda County Coliseum on Monday night. Let's go to highlights of this game now. Sox have taken a one nothing lead here in the second and are looking for more of the runner. Third, Darrell Boston lines the ball to right. Dusty Baker, yes, he can still do it. Makes the catch. The A's escape further damage, trailing one nothing. Bottom of the inning, Floyd Bannister against Dave Kingman. Kong with a chopper. It's fielded by Hewlett, but he watched Hewlett's throw. Pulls Russ Mormon off the bag. He thinks he tug him. No, the ump says safe. And after an infield hit by Baker, Mark McGuire lines the ball to center. Darrell Boston tries to do what Baker didn't know, and look at him. Does he run after the ball? Darrell. Hey, Darrell, the guys are rounding third. They're going to score. Hey, gee, uh, two to one Oakland. McGuire got a, got the third and scored on a sack fly. Now, bottom of the third, Jose Canseco with a patented moonshot. Watch this rocket. I mean, he doesn't hit line drives just over the fence. I mean, th these things bring rain, friends. He now is tied with Rob Deere for the American League lead in, lead in homers with 33. Jose Rijo, former Yankee, pitched seven strong innings. Jay Howell, former Yankee, got the last five outs. I wonder if George Steinbrenner's advisors are listening. The final score, Chicago... Losing to Oakland by a score of 5-3. to three.